Should we do the intro or do I just think? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> We're not recording right now. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay, should we do the intro again? Or no, you don't even have to do the intro. Just okay. ask questions. Uh, so how did you manage growing up with diabetes? It was hard growing up with diabetes as there's a lot of things that you have to look out for, like low blood sugars, high blood sugars, not blowing yourself up. What do you mean by that? Like, not eating too much. I can go on and on, but I don't want to take, I don't want to make this from an interview into a one hour special interview. Um, what was hardest for you and your family, emotionally or financially? Emotionally, the hardest part was accepting it since in one of the families, it was something different, so it was shocking. Uh, what treatments do you use? Medicine, not medicine, insulin. Uh, what kind of insulin? Uh, pig, ins pig insulin and human insulin, basically like that. Just roll it. Okay, since we're not posting this anyway, though. <laughs> Um, human insulin. Yeah, but for did we just speak about that? No. Well, pig insulin goes back in the seventies. Yeah, but they're both the same, so no, they're not. Oh, so let's just say both. Let's just say insulin. Yeah, that's a good point. Although, insulin. what type of insulin do you use? Insulin. Okay. <laughs> that. Like, Thank you. Because there's fast action acting and then there's long acting. He uses. An insulin pump. So with an insulin pump, you only use the short acting. People who don't use an insulin pump have to use long acting and short acting. Speaking of which, I actually used to. Sorry. Got him rolling. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Uh, do you, can you recognize the symptoms of low or high blood sugar? I can only recognize the low blood sugars, sometimes high. When I feel low, I feel slightly dizzy and like I'm ready to fall over. When I'm high, most of the time I don't feel it, but if I'm grumpy, sometimes I usually mean if I'm high. Uh, do you vary your insulin when you eat different foods? If you mean by different numbers, yes. Different dosages. That works too. I see you two grinning. <laughs> uh, do you ever feel like you're restricted to certain things? Well, there's certain jobs that you can't get if you're type one and it's harder to get a driver's license. How is it harder? It's because in some hard. states, because in some states you need a medical thing. <laughs> Labor. Labor. Basically, all that does is it proves whether or not you've been in control of your blood sugar. And when you drive, you're supposed to check your blood sugar every time you get in the car before you drive. Uh, what would you tell someone who has been recently diagnosed? Well, I'd tell them to take care of their high and low blood sugars. Do you have anything to add to that? Um, there's lots of new treatments and cures. And so not to, you know, they're, they're working on a cure, so not to, not to lose all hope. Uh, who do you get the most support from? My mom.
How do you monitor your glucose levels? With my meter, wireless meter. He does. He has a CGM, continuous glucose meter, but he does not like it, so we do not use yeah, it. Yeah, and plus, it is annoying. Yeah, lots of false highs and lows. Yeah, and not it beeps every single five minutes. So basically, if you want to never sleep, that's the machine for you. Um, Are there any complications you have with your senses? Um, the only thing type 1 affects, I think, is your vision. When you're high, it can affect your vision and make it blurry. And it's easier to go blinded. To go blind, not blinded. Are your folks listening? <laughs> What is the most important? What is the most important thing that you carry? The most important thing that I carry around is my medical ID bracelet and the kit, because it's got my surprise and ID bracelet. Did it just? Did it just auto complete? Mm-hmm. Score, Joy. Mm -mm. Just Keep going. Uh, what have you figured out while having diabetes? Well, I figured out that your vision can go blurry if you're high. She's a little sick. She's like, come on. All right, my diet. <laughs> so I figured out that your your vision goes blurry if you're high. Your feet can be sensitive. You can go blind easier. You can't. Some of the jobs you can't get. Um, you can get random pains in your body. Forgot what the meaning of for that is, and much more. Is neuropathy. 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 <laughs> Something just fell off of me. I don't know what it was. I, I, it, off of your body? Yeah, like, it was maybe coming off, like, uh, an eye, eye flake. Oh, probably. probably from your mascara. I thought she was talking like a body part. I know, I was like, oh, look I lost there. a finger. <laughs> Um, what kind of jobs can you not get while having type 1? Um, a plane pilot, a fire jet, basically any flying things, Be somewhat, trains, trucks, driving, driving, even though some, even though driving would be flying things, but, and, much, and some more. Because some truck driving companies will not hire a type 1 diabetic. So commercial licenses. Yeah. Also, the other thing. Um, what kind of doctors do you go to? What do they test for? Well, I go to an endocrine to test for thyroid, celiac, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure and stuff. And that one's four times a year? And I go, ev and I go every three months, again, four times a year. And I go to get my blood test done to see whether, and I just went break there, to see whether if I got any complications and all that stuff. You can fix that if you want. Cholesterol. Sometimes cholesterol came back high. Yeah, because I ate the new chicken fries too much. And then um, check for celiacs. I actually almost I actually went over the endocrine one. 
Yeah, he did that one. Oh, sorry. And then um, thyroid. Mm-hmm. That too. Because his thyroid just came back. Low? Five oh. before. No, 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 no before. Low. Uh, yeah, low. Low before, but now it's fine. Okay, last question. Uh, is there anything you want non-diabetic people to know? Well, I want non-diabetic people to know that never confuse type 1 or type 2 and don't make fun of people. Because remember, some of our heroes are type 1 and type 2. And no, type 2, skinny people can get it, and type 1 and type 2, you do not get it by eating a ton of stuff. And maybe you'll think about that next time. (laughs) Don't you? (laughs) What was that supposed to mean? Because because the way people act, about uneducated people act about type 1, type 2, makes them kind of sound like... (laughs) Can we keep that part? Yeah, you can keep that part. (laughs) Is that it?